Alrighty guys, good morning, Madman Mandela coming at you on this wonderful Monday morning. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you're all doing good. Alright, I'm gonna get right to it. We got two consoles here going out. Um I got a bunch more to do. I did a uh I just uh finished working on a custom for Miles Arden, which was an OG Xbox. Came out real nice. Uh paint and everything. Uh, you, you'll see it. But anyway, um all right, we got two here that we're uh we're shipping off uh, with the other with the other ones that are going out today. All right, this one here is Mr. Ryan Amahoff. Okay, now Ryan purchased the console off the website from us. This one is a 250-gig drive. It's up on the line servers. Of course, you got college football revamped. you got, uh, you got uh, BO2, MW3, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, off hosts. Uh, you, got, um, you also have the MyTin menu on this thing, as well as the Buffington mod, uh, mod loader for uh, GTA 4 and Purge for GTA 5. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna boot this thing up here. Let's check this out. I'm gonna swap on over the Elgato if it cooperates correctly, which I, it should. <laughs> I would hope. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna boot up. We're gonna get into Aurora. We're gonna see some notifications from a server, letting us know that it's online and live and all that other happy nonsense. Then what we'll do is we'll go through this thing and uh, we'll check it all out. All right. And then uh, also, please. When I send you the link to this video, there's going to be another link. Okay, it's a startup setup video. Please watch that video before powering this console on. You have to put it on your network first. Otherwise, you will stick at the Xbox 360 logo, and it won't go no further. So please watch that video. It's very important. It also covers how to use the console, how to set up plugins, how to copy and paste files and folders, and all kinds of good stuff like that. So it's very informative. If it's your first RGH, I suggest you watch it. Otherwise, you're going to be scratching your head on a lot of turns, okay? So please watch that video. All right, let's get into this thing. All right, start off at the Xbox 360. We work our way through. You got your Battlefields on here. You got your uh, Call of Duties on here, Okay. You got uh, Kyle Troops 2K, you got Gear, your Gears of War series, your Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 4, Halo, Minecraft, NCAA Basketball 10, College Football Revamped, of course, Red Dead Redemption, and Resident Evil 6. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got 23 titles of Xbox Live Arcade on this thing. Your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then, of course, you got a classic game on there, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. You got to play uh, classic games in bypass mode, which I do explain in the startup setup video please watch that video otherwise you will get a black screen when you try to load this thing all right you got to have it in bypass mode all right indie games you got trailer park king you got voice changer 360 emulators okay Oop, forgot to download the title here we go this is how you this is how you download title artwork all right it's pretty easy you can select titles or just hit refresh and it'll download the uh the stock title that's up top but anyway there you are all right so you have Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, and back to Nintendo. All right, now, Xbox 360 will hit the dashboard to make sure she's right and tight and up on the network, which it should be. It better be. We're going to get a placard here any second. There you are. All right. Welcome to MyTin. Welcome to Alliance. Hello again, Ryan Imahoff. I'm on Alliance Live. All that kind of good stuff. And there you are. Okay, now, if you want to join their Discord, you can. There's their Discord link right there. All right, and you can join their Discord. Uh, this is the free version of Mighton. You can buy the VIP version for 20 bucks. It does 24 games, okay? So, you know, it's a really decent menu. I would suggest checking it out, okay, on their website. Now, we'll go ahead, all right, and uh, let's see here now. We'll bypass the sign in, make sure she's up and online, in which she is, okay? We'll go ahead, we'll hit the guide button down here in X Community. All right, you'll see that there's a couple sessions going on. Now, mind you, it's Monday morning, all right? Not a lot of people are up, all right? But anyway, you got uh, PVZ Garden Warfare. You got COD, COD Black Ops 3 going on. You got a Modern Warfare 2 session. Fable 3 and another Modern Warfare 2. All right, you got your players on there, okay? And your prospective servers, okay, as you can see. And then, of course, you have your settings, okay? Enable features, custom matchmaking, force modern matchmaking, custom HUD button, change your online status, change your username, save your settings, so on and so forth. All right, now, over here in the fifth tab, you got uh, you got your cheats here. You got Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and MW3. To disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. When you launch the game, lower left corner of the screen, you will see a set of instructions. Follow those instructions for the cheat. Now, also another thing. If you're playing, like, let's say, Advanced Warfare, and let's say you don't want to use the off host here, you want to use my tin menu. All right, so all you have to do is disable it. That's it. Okay, you can't run two menus at the same time. It gets all crazy and 
you'll select one in, in, an, in one menu and it'll deselect it in another menu. So, you know, when you load the game, either you're going to play with the Outpost or if you want to play with the uh, Mighton, well then you load the game, you disable the cheat, okay? If you want to load the game and play with the Outpost, you just disable Mighton before before it loads. It, say, it simply says, do you want to load the Mighton menu? You hit no and then you'll be playing with the cheats, okay? So now we'll bring this back home. There you have it. Ryan, you got a one-year part in labor warranty on this thing. If anything happens, just give me a holler, man, and we'll take care of it. All right, I really do appreciate your business. Shipping it off today. All right, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. We're going to say goodbye to Ryan. Goodbye, Ryan. All right, now, we'll grab hold of this one right here. And this one is Dalton Martin. Okay, now Dalton purchased a console off the website from us. This one is a 120 gig. RGH 3.0, they're all RGH 3.0, okay, unless you get a dual land, then we use RGH 1.2 method, all right, so anyway, all right, now, here you go, Dalton, we're all set, ready to go, gonna go ahead and rock it, and uh, let's see here now, okay, and we're good, oh, and by the way, Dalton, as you can see, I did your RLL for you, all right, that way then, you know, you know that you got it, all right. Now, what we'll do is I'll swap over the uh, capture card here. Here we go. All right. Controller synced up. And we're booting up into Aurora. And now, mind you, remember, this is a 120 gig. All right. So, we start off at the dashboard. We'll go to Xbox 360. And we'll work our way through. As you can see, you got your Call of Duties on there. You got your Modern Warfare 3. You got College Troops 2K8. Your Grand Theft Auto series. Okay. This here got the wrong title screen on it. All right. So, this is how we fix that. There you go. This is not. This is the actual GTA 4 on this thing. It is not Episodes of Liberty City. Okay, so you got GTA 4 on there. College football revamped. All right, so on and so forth. And now Xbox Live Arcade. You got a couple Live Arcade games on there. You got your homebrew section where your tools reside. You got your emulators on there. You got Sega, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, and back to Sega. All right, and we'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure that she's right and tight. Which it should be. It better be. And there we are. Okay. Hello again, Dalton Martin. We're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. Everything's all good. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead. We'll hit that. And as you can see, there's your Mighton menu. Okay. To join their Discord. Hit their Discord link right there. Bypass the sign-in. Let's see if this one's going to give me an error. Nope. Good. Okay. Didn't error out. All right. Something's up with Microsoft's network. I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, some consoles can sign in. Some can't. Uh, the, um, I don't know what it is. Okay. But uh, something's going on with it. It just started happening last week. Very, very weird. Okay. But uh, we're going to be checking over our server and everything and making sure that our patches are right and all that other happy nonsense. Okay. Just so you know. All right. So anyway. All right. We we'll boot it up. We're good. Okay, as you can see, you have X Community on there. You got your cheats. Okay, disable A, enable A. Very easy. And we'll bring it back. And there you have it. So, Mr. Martin, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad that I can build it for you. I'm going to be shipping it off today. You'll have your tracking numbers and all that kind of good stuff in your email. Remember to watch the startup setup video. Guys, I got a very, very busy day. Okay, I got a lot of consoles I got to catch up on now. So, it's going to be slam and jam today. So, You'll be seeing more videos. Anyway, you all have a good one. I'm going to holler at you later. Take care. Have a great day. And, uh, you know, be kind. Remember to rewind. And I'll holler at you later. Take care, guys. Have a great day.